All right, ladies and gentlemen, today I have a quick one for you. Decided to stop at the local thrift store on my way home. And uh, after that, I decided to stop at a rummage sale that I was passing. So I got some tools here, not much, uh, not like the last hauls. But uh, we'll start on the left side with the thrift store. And uh, that would be anything over here. And then everything on this side over I got at the uh, rummage sale. So let's take a look at, see what I got, see if I made some money, got my money's worth. Um, upper left, I got an Ace 19mm combination, uh, it's a Taiwan. Um, these two wrenches are HM, and uh, that is Honda Motors. So these wrenches would, uh, I believe, come with your, your motorcycle, uh, it may come with, an engine, you know, on um, power equipment possibly. I'm not too sure, but uh, I know motorcycles, Hondas have uh, little tool kits with them. So these possibly uh, came with a Honda motorcycle. So I thought those were kind of cool. I know that people uh, collect these, so I figured I would pick them up. And uh, have a 13 millimeter. Uh, what do we have here? Drop Forge, no no name on it. Probably Taiwan or China. Um, nothing nothing special. Little eight millimeter. This one's uh, made in India. No name on it. Um, but I basically got uh, these two and the nineteen millimeter uh, to carry in my vehicle. Uh, just put some tools that I don't mind if it, somebody breaks into it, steals my tools. I don't want to have anything too crazy expensive in there or any older tools in there. Um, I'll probably end up listing these on eBay and selling those. Somebody will probably take them. Uh, but the cool things I got were these screwdrivers. Got this uh, little flat blade. And this is a uh, Stanley 3010. And tip is uh, pretty good on it. Has a little clip on it. I thought that was pretty cool. I don't own any Stanley screwdrivers, so I figured, eh, hey, why not? I like that one. And we got two Craftsman screwdrivers here. We got a number zero, and uh, it is a Craftsman made in USA, WF. And then we have a number one that's also a WF. And uh, I saw another Stanley screwdriver, so I figured I'd pick this up, but it's a uh, Torx. Um, we got a T20 Torx here, 64-553. Uh, so I always like these Torx drivers. They come in handy. I do have a set of these at work, but it'd be nice to have a set uh, to carry around with me. But uh, it's got a little uh, schmutz on it there, but I can clean that up nicely. And the tip looks uh, pretty good. Barely used. Not all nerfed up, so... I figured I'd take it. So I paid $2.30 for all of these. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. I definitely got my money's worth out of that. So let's move on to the garage sale. Um, we'll start with the screwdrivers, I guess. Uh, Craftsman, flat blade, WF. You know, nothing too crazy, but the tip looks good. A little rusted, but barely looks used. So, again, flat blade screwdriver. Good thing to have around. Um, and uh, I saw these, and I figured, hey, I got a T20. What are these? So, I got a T15 and a T10 Torx Craftsman WF. So, and those are the most common sizes that I use, the T10, 15, and 20. So, I figured, hey, cool. I got kind of a little set going here. So couldn't pass those by. And then I saw this little pokey tool, scratch all, and that is a Craftsman as well. Craftsman, scratch all, WF. So looks like it has never poked anything. So I will definitely be poking stuff with that. And I wish this little screwdriver was in a little better shape. The tip to it is a little twisted. I'm going to try to bend it back a little bit, but I just like the clear handle with the Red Craftsman on there. So again, another Craftsman WF41541. So I just like the look of it and 
Figured, why not? I'll grab that. And uh, next we have a uh, nut driver. And uh, this is a Craftsman as well. Made in USA. And uh, it is an older one. It is a V. And I don't know. There we go. 7 16 nut driver. Older V. And there's a little bit of rust inside of there, which, you know, you're never going to get out of there, but... I'll use this. I don't really have any nut drivers. I usually just use uh, the driver that has the quarter inch end on it and put a socket on it. Um, I guess, you know, for me, there's no real point in having nut drivers if you have a, you know, a quarter inch socket set and you can just put it on the screwdriver with the quarter inch end on it. But whatever, I figured I'd pick it up. It was there. So that's it for those drivers. Uh, we got a pair of channel locks, number 430. And uh, you know, if you've ever bought channel locks before, these things aren't cheap. Um, these are a little little dinged up, but the teeth are good on it. Not too marred up. A little bit of damage on the handle, but just a good usable pair of channel locks. So I grabbed those. Let's move on to the wrenches. Let's start with this bad boy here. Craftsman 916 5 ace double box. And we got the older logo on there. And that is a V, double lined V. So I couldn't pass that by. Uh, I believe this has somebody's name in there. Yeah, it looks like it says Dick. So either his name was Dick or uh, he didn't like lending out his tools and someone got back at him. But... Grab that long pattern, so that's nice to have. Uh, next up, we got a snap on half inch 9 16 double box. And again, I saw the snap on, and why not? And I uh, see that little four there. It looks like it's got like a rocking chair kind of, I call it the rocking chair four. And uh, that is 1954, so this is a fairly old snap on. So couldn't pass that by. And we got an SK 7 16 box uh, with the 6 point uh, box end on it, not the 12. So I snagged that up. And we'll save that for last. Let's go to these sockets here. Uh, we got oh, Duro Industro socket 6424. And uh, I saw this socket, and I said, you know, I have a socket that looks fairly similar to that. But it didn't say Industro on it. And so I dug through my sockets, and I found it. And uh, it is a Patriot. So this thing is exactly the same. Deep cuts in there. Deep lines. So I looked it up, and I guess uh, Patriot is made by Industro. So same company, different name. So I thought that was cool. I don't have any Industro sockets, so might hang on to that one for a little bit. Maybe sell it. I have plenty of 12-point uh, overflowing and 12-point half-inch drive sockets right now, so I don't really need to hang on to it. But I like to try to get a couple of sockets so I have a, a set to sell, at least you know three or four of them. Instead of just selling individual sockets, uh, it's kind of just a waste to ship an individual socket. So I like to kind of just see what I can find in all these sales and kind of collect some together, get a little set going. And uh, next we have some Mac sockets. And uh, this is similar to the socket I had in the last video uh, where it tapers down like this. Uh, this one is a half inch drive. The other one was a 3 eighths drive, but we got a 15 sixteenths. Mac USA V306, and that is a six point. And we have another Mac, and this one might be older. I haven't really done much research on Mac, uh, but it says Sabina O, and I would imagine that that is the city where these are manufactured. Focus there. So if you can see that, this is an inch and an eighth. And it's a V366, and it is tagged with somebody's name, Jack F, looks like. But a Mac 
nonetheless, inching an eighth. So I thought that was cool. And uh, gear wrench, 10 millimeter Allen. And I just picked that up because I don't think I have any metric uh, Allen sockets, 3 ace drive. And it looks like it's never been used. So figured I'd snag on that. And 7 16 SK. Got a quarter inch drive, really shallow socket. And that is, uh, you know, after the SK Wayne. So fairly mo more modern era socket, but... I don't know, whenever I see the SK stuff or anything USA, I try to snag it up. All right, and last but not least, we have this extension. Anybody guess what it is by the Nurling? Anyone, anyone up? Oh, I showed you a peek in there through there, Craftsman BE. Nice half-inch drive extension. We got a little bit of chipping of the chrome on there and a little bit of rust, but, you know, it's an old old extension it should clean up pretty decent and uh, I'll stick that with the uh, BE sockets that I got in the last uh, lot so thought that was cool what do you think I paid for all of this any guesses any guesses I paid ten dollars for all this stuff so twelve dollars and thirty cents for what you see here so I think I did fairly good for just some quick stops on the way home um, I tried to find some other rummage sales, but, you know, they had the signs out, and it was a little late, so they were closed down. But it's been a little slow on the auctions, so I figured I'd try something else here and ended up working out all right. So thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully I'll find some more tools, maybe win some more or stop at some more uh, rummage sales or estate sales. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.